And we're back here at the National Sports Center for the second half of the under-14 boys, Dandy Town versus Somerset Cricket Club. Somerset leading 1-0. And uh, started off with a kick to the goalkeeper. That was an unusual uh, start to the game. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to beat Mandas from that range. You know, he's, he's quite comfortable. You know, he's got good handling skills. Jade Mandas there. Uh, comes from a pedigree of goalkeepers with his, his day at being Porky Mandas. There's a corner kick going out to Dandy Town. They are now have an opportunity to threaten the goal and opportunity they've got. Now Dandy Town's got a few options because they've got number 11 with Millet that's playing at the left back. You know, he's quite capable of going forward. He's quite capable of playing in, in a forward position to impact the game. Yes, I can understand at this time, you know, because they're looking to have the better players playing at the back so they can play the ball out. But at some point, they might want to consider you know, adjusting, adjusting the personnel to be able to get back into this game because this is a final. Yes, it is. And and the purpose of this final is to be in. And, and just is on it. This could be trouble. And he's still, this could he's be trouble. He still gets to still good defending. Good defending. They, two, two of them, they, two of them get there. But again, a little bubbly winger. He's working. And then you saw need to get the ball off the backfield right now. Number 11 passes the ball up to the wing. Number 23 tried to go around his men. Still found the player. Number 14. 23 got the ball again going inside. And cleared away. So Dandy Town has a, a, a different look for themselves going into the second half. And definitely trying to uh, get the ball up the field a lot quicker. Here's an opportunity. And behind the player, frustrated with himself that again, that same move from him trying to do two things at once between two minds. I bring that as an example. I, I played golf the other day and it was a similar situation. In my backswing, I had one decision to make, but on my downswing, I changed my mind. <laughs> so the ball decided to do a very, the very opposite of what I intended. So that was a perfect uh, example of, of being between two minds when you're hey, trying to make a play. Hey, but at least in football, you could blame somebody else. In golf, you just can't blame I, anybody I couldn't, else. I couldn't even blame my clubs. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was me for sure. <laughs> but that's what it comes to. Like you said, in football, when you're making that decision, you, you've got to be able to uh, yeah. see the vision before the ball comes to you and execute as it arrives. Uh, uh. Long ball for it, collected cleanly by the Somerset goalkeeper. Looking for an outlet, and he rolls the ball out to his right winger, carrying the ball down the field, looking in the middle, pass the ball up front. Again, man on. Tigo and chases and puts the pressure on Martin. Martin there. Martin just clears clears the danger. Danny Town's going to need to change something. They're going to need to change something to get that south back in there because they haven't threatened Somerset's goal. Somerset's just comfortable at this time. They're very comfortable. And another goal for Somerset could spell the disaster for Danny Town. Ah, good piece of skill by Jose there. No one in the middle for that cross in. But number 11, he's very quick. Jose is all over the field. Yeah. He's bubbling. Still at it, still at it. Ah. Down. And I, and I, and I, I actually, that moment right there, I liked about number 11. He went down in a little pain, but immediately got back up. Oh, didn't look for a foul. He's a tough boy. He, that number 11, he's a tough boy. Yeah. He likes this game. Yeah, he's got a little, little, yeah. little ginger on yeah, that uh, right ankle at the present moment. But it looks like he's, he's just going to get right back into it. And he's in. He's there, looking for it. Dribbling his way through, he tried. As you saw, it's four against two, but when you can c dominate the ball, when you can control the ball, you can eliminate people when you've got body language on the ball. Danny Town had four defenders around two, and he was still able to get his shot off to get a corner. That's, that's the pleasures of mastering this ball. And that's the thing that we need to uh, allow our eight-year-olds to do, our six-year-olds to do, our three-year-olds to do, master the ball. You know, you, you, you go to peewee co games where you got four-year-olds, you see coaches tell them pass. Get it up the field. Let that kid master that ball. Yeah. Good cross in the middle. Oh, he tried that one-time move. Came back to him. He's got the opportunity again. Oh, no, he didn't. 
Uh, he'll yes. be disappointed in himself. He is disappointed in that. He just swung at that wall, hit it on the outside of his foot. He'll be definitely disappointed in himself. Again, these are the good positions that these kids are getting in, and they need to they need to make these good positions count. Long ball up the field by the goalkeeper of Danny Town, trying to get there. Good header, and just headed it out for a goal kick, coming back the opposite direction. Danny Town seems to be going away from there, moving the ball on the back. They're looking to get it forward immediately now. Yeah, I don't know how effective there's going to be because uh, Summers is well marshaled by by um, Dalen, Dalen back there, Richardson. He's quite used to covering again. Just they are taking up good positions. Zah, sorry, number 11 for Summers is taking up good positions, playing on, on the on the shoulders of other defenders. They good can ball track him. White. Up, too bad, too much in front of them. But good idea. Uh, they are definitely executing their plan, Somerset. Uh, Dandy Town is uh, being put in a position where they're uh, chasing the goal. Uh, just as I suggested, that, uh, Millet is now look going forward. He's quite capable of being forward. He's quite capable of impacting the game, game from that position. So now he's going forward. Uh, seems to be a little tussle going in uh, at the uh, the goal mouth between those two players. Yep. Uh, referee needs to keep an eye on that. It can turn. And immediately Millet's in there. But again, say fans of, of uh, easy there. They call him easy. He's a big easy there. Uh, he's got a name that is so hard for me to pronounce. Well, we know him as Jacob. <laughs> so we can, uh, we can say his first name. Good try. Good save. Good save. Good strike. Again, Summers is executing their plan. They're keeping their shape. And their, their uh, striker, number 11, is getting in position. And while everyone's watching him, uh, the backup striker of uh, Jesse Butterfield, who's uh, been playing on the uh, the, the uh, left side, is uh, coming into the middle and, and taking strike on goal. Yeah, and he's put Good the ball on. Good ball Footwork control. He's been there. able to get it back. And he's Assistant there. Quick and nippish. Outside, out wide. Uh, he stopped. Get that ball in the middle. All right. Good hands. Good hands. And they're there again. Some said it's attacking Dandy game, Town's goal. Game, game's coming alive now, isn't it? It certainly is. It's starting to come alive. Millet's got on the ball and attacking third. Millet's on it. Again, he's immediately commanding respect because of his technical skills. Ball up. Looking for it on the inside. This he's is there. dangerous. It could be. Oh, he needs a left foot there. There you go. He does. But he's found it Dan. He needs a left foot there. He definitely he needs, needs a, a left, left foot. foot. He had he had that left side open two times, but chose to go into his right, which is which is his stronger foot, his dominant foot. But if he was able to put it on his left foot, he could shift the ball away from where the pressure was. Yep. And he could strike it. So it's important that that he, he's able to do that. time is winding down in this uh this second half yes eight minutes eight minutes going and ball will be called back for the goal kick as uh some said is uh, making a make change it. this is going to change the dynamics of the game a lot uh some it's uh withdrawn za you know he, i only can think that he's got he's got a, a, a injury problem that he can't overcome And going for that long ball again up the field. And throw in. So Danny Town now in the Somerset half of the field, looking to threaten that goal with this throw in. They're going to want to get the ball into uh, Millet's feet a lot more in, in good areas. Somerset is definitely going into defense mode at this particular time. And the town looking to uh, penetrate that defense.
Congratulations to the Summers of Red Champions. Yep, a class. 